Good evening. It is great to have you with us here on a Thursday night. Joe Biden about to become the Democratic nominee more than three decades in the making. President Trump tonight in Biden's home state by design. But what no one saw coming today was the other major story unfolding tonight, the arrest. President Trump's former chief strategist, Steve Bannon, arrested and charged with defrauding hundreds of thousands of Americans after they had donated to a campaign to help build President Trump's border wall. Bannon and three others are accused of raising more than $25 million to help build the wall and then using some of that money for their personal benefit. Bannon was arrested today on a $28 million yacht off the coast of Connecticut. He was the campaign CEO who helped President Trump win and then joined him in the White House. Today, the president distanced himself from Bannon and what he said about that campaign to raise money for his wall. Steve Bannon tonight entering a not guilty plea in ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. Tonight, the man who ran President Trump's campaign and served as his chief strategist in the White House has left federal court in lower Manhattan, charged with money laundering and fraud. Steve Bannon was arrested off the coast of Connecticut on this $28 million luxury yacht owned by an exiled Chinese billionaire. He and three others are accused of defrauding hundreds of thousands of people by personally profiting off a scheme to raise money to help build President Trump's border wall. Build that wall! Build that wall! With a group called We Build the Wall, Bannon and the others raised $25 million, promising to build a section of the wall themselves. They see that this is a way uh, that they can take action to actually, you know, make happen a physical barrier on the southern border and support President Trump and, and what President Trump's trying to do. The group promised donors a brick in the wall with their names on it. You're not going to last forever, but your brick will. The project was started by Brian Colfage, an Air Force vet who lost three limbs in Iraq. In fundraising pitches, he insisted every penny raised would go to the wall. 100% of your money goes towards the wall. It's not going to line someone's pocket. I'm taking zero dollars of the salary, no compensation. But the indictment alleges Colfage spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on home renovations, payments toward a boat, a luxury SUV, a golf cart, jewelry, cosmetic surgery, personal tax payments, and credit card debt. And that Bannon himself used hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations for his own personal expenses. President Trump today downplayed his connections to Bannon, who he fired three years ago. I feel very badly. I haven't been dealing with him for a long period of time. The president said he never liked the Build the Wall campaign. I didn't like, when I read about it, I didn't like it. I said, this is for government, this isn't for private people. And it sounded to me like showboating. But the president's son, Donald Trump Jr., promoted the project at an event last year, saying it's exactly the kind of thing the private sector should be doing. This is private enterprise at its finest, doing it better, faster, cheaper than anything else. And what you guys are doing is pretty amazing. In a statement today, Donald Trump Jr. said that other than the speech, he never supported the project and said if the allegations are true, quote, the group deserves to be held accountable. All right, so let's get right to John Carl live in Washington, who's been following this all day long. And tonight, John Steve Bannon has pleaded not guilty, and he's out on bail. Out on bail, but his travel is restricted to the D.C. and New York areas. He is not allowed to go on private jets or yachts. David, this is uh, just the latest in a long list of close Trump associates who have faced criminal charges, including his personal lawyer, former personal lawyer, his campaign chairman, his first political advisor, his national security advisor. Uh, many people very close to the president at top echelons facing criminal charges. All right, John Carl leading us off tonight. John, thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.